Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today I have another LK150 knitting machine project. I'm going to make a scarf that's lacy and suitable for the spring weather. The yarn I'm using is a Barocco Vintage Socks. I like their Vintage series. They come in different weight. And this one is a sock weight, so it's thinner but it still have some wool so it's very good value and they come with many different colors because we are going to make a scarf so the gauge is not as important and I'm using tension 6 on the carriage and tension 5 on my mast tension I'm casting now from left 30 until right 30 so it's about 60 stitches total and you can adjust the width if you like it wider. I will do a peacock hem, so I will need a few rows and a transfer stitch, so there are holes every other needle, and then need a few rows again and hang it back. So I will start with the e rub cast on. And I will need five rows and remember to place some weight. And now I'm going to transfer to every other needle. So we'll create some holes. And we'll do it with a transferring tool. Transfer the second stitch to the first. And I'll keep the needle back to B, so you will knit back. And we do that with every other needle. After transfer every other needle, we will need five rows. And now we are going to pick up the cast on stitch and hand it back. After handing it back, you can hand some weight and it's easier to push all the needles out to the D position. So when we need the next row, it doesn't jump out. And we'll need one row. Now you can see we just finished the edge. And for the rest, it's very easy. We are going to alternate every other needle, a few rows, and then change back to every row. So you will create some textures and some lacy holes. Since we have every needle right now, we will need a few rows. I can alternate every five rows, or you can decide how many rows you want to alternate. I'm going to start with five rows of plain stitches. And now I'm going to transfer to every other needle using my transferring tool. So you just transfer every other needle and I'll keep the empty needle in the B position so you will be knitted back. And do it every other needle just like before. Now we transfer to every other needle and all the stitches are back to B, we'll need 5 rows. Now 
Now you can see we create some holes. And for the next section, we want to have every other needles. So we will do the same transferring the stitches, but we will keep the empty needle to the A non-working position, so you will not need. So let's do the transfer again. Every other needle. And now all the empty needle back to A. And we are just going to alternate different sections for different textures. Now we transfer all the needles. We can need five more rows. And you can see the texture. We have more lacy texture here. And the next section, we can switch back to every needle. I will place all the empty needle back to B and then I will need five more rows. Now you can see the texture we have so far. When we switch from every other needle to every needle, there will be a row of bigger holes. So that's kind of interesting. And now we can keep repeating as before. We can transfer every other needle and place the empty needles back to B. That will create the same section like that. Or we can transfer to every other needle and keep the empty needles in the A position and that will create a section like that. So it's up to you. You can do it randomly or in a certain order and repeat different sections. And you can have different row count in different sections. So it's more organic. So I'm going to keep going, transfer the stitches and remember to move your way up. Now I finish all the transfer. Instead of putting all the needles back to B, you can also push all the needles out to the D position. It's the same, every stitch will be knitted back. So I can push all this out and knee five rows or any row number you like. That's the same as our first section before. And then you can repeat the second part. That's to transfer every other stitches, but keep the empty needle in the A non-working position that will create this type of lace. I think it will be nice when it's a little bit random too, so you don't have to follow exactly every five row and following the same pattern. So the most difficult part for this project is the transferring of the stitches. It takes a lot of time to transfer. So I think I will increase the row count Instead of five rows, I might increase to 10 rows because if you want to make a scarf, it's going to be very long, a lot of repeats. Now I want this type of texture, so I'll just transfer every other needle and leave the empty needle in the A non-working position. Now we'll need five rows. That's what it looks like so far. The edge will curl a little bit, but because it's lace, so it looks pretty natural. So I will just keep going, maybe increase the row count for each section. 
and then you will have an interesting lace scarf. Now I have every other needle. I'm going to move all the empty needles back to B. So we'll knit it back. And this time I'm going to increase the raw count. So I'm going to knit eight rows instead of five. And remember to put the weight back. We'll look at the whole picture again. If you think it has too many of the plain stitches, you can skip this section and just start doing every other needle with the empty needle in the A. So it needs only every other needle. And if you don't have enough yarn, you can do more of the every other needles because apparently you use less yarn because it doesn't need every stitches. I'm going to keep the same pattern for now, just increase the row count. So I will move every other stitch and leave the stitch, the empty stitch in the B. Or you can push everything out to D. And now I will need a rows. Now I'm going to back to every other needle again, transfer it and leave the empty needle back to a non-working position and need a rose. So this is not really a pattern, it's just a formula. You can mix and match different sections to create different textures. I'll need a more rows. Now we can see the front side. It creates interesting texture. When we finish the lens you want, we are at the end. Now I'm going to do the trim again. I'm going to end with the five rows of plain stitches. If you look closely, I just transfer to every other needle. So I will need another five rows. This will be the tip of the hem. So the five row down will be this row. We're going to hand this row back to the needle and bind off. And it's easier to just pick up the hole here. You see the bar, the line here. So you can do that every other stitch. And I'm just going to hand knit the last row to bind off. Thank you so much for watching today and happy knitting.